The neutral and earth, both of them are separate throughout the systems. They are known as terra neutra, separate earth and neutral are separate. The armor is used as earth. Let us see how the fault current will flow in case of a TNS system. So if there is a fault in an appliance, the fault current will start flowing. It goes to the line. It goes through the CPC to the earthing conductor. It goes to the armor. From the armor, it comes back to the supply transformer. It goes into the meter, from the meter to the main switch, and then it trips the circuit breaker. So the fault current will flow in this path it will come back to the circuit breaker and the circuit breaker will trip so this fault path needs to be as low as possible so the resistance of this path needs to be as low as possible so that the breaker can trip on time and this whole path is known as zs total earth fault loop impedance that means the resistance of the line and CPC or line and earth from the supply transformer till the final point of the sockets or final point of the lights where the furthest away they get the highest resistance that's where you get the ZS and the ZS we need to compare with the books that it needs to be lower as low as possible for each type of the socket and the rating of the socket they have different ZS values in the 18th edition book and our values need to be complying that means when we test our ZS which is measured in ohms should be as low as possible or the values given in the book let's say for B32 it says 1.37 ohms so when we measure the ZS it should be below 1.37 ohms that means it is complying and our breaker will trip on time. What is ZE? ZE is external earth for loop impedance. You can see if the external earth from the DB, it goes to the supply transformer and it comes back to the main switch. So this is external side outside of our house. So we don't have access to that we can measure the ZE we can do the test but that's what your ZE means external earth for loop impedance which is also measured in ohms for TNS system the maximum ZE is 0 0.8 ohms so our value should be below 0 0.8 if it is greater than 0 0.8 then we have to inform the DNO regarding this situation what is R1 plus R2 in the circuit so R1 plus R2 will be the internal resistance of line and CPC. So if we measure the resistance of line and earth from the final point, because at the final point we get the highest resistance. If we got like 10 sockets, radial sockets, the 10th socket, which is furthest away from the distribution board, you'll get the highest resistance of line and CPC. So over here you can see we are the resistance of R1 is line and the resistance of R2 is CPC which is from the distribution board to the furthest point so this is known as R1 plus R2 if we join both of them the ZE and R1 plus R2 we get ZS ZS is the total earth fault loop impedance so it includes the internal path that means R1 plus R2 and the external path which is ZE together that's your TNCS, sorry, that's your TNS systems, Terra Neutra Separate Systems. Going forward,